Hello all. Welcome to Eventech. In today's video we will see we will do the review of our product Eventech EV VFD display. This is a remote terminal display used for uh, communication between a VFD drive and uh, a parameter display. So inside the box we have a manual a quick start manual to tell the user how it works. So there are various para uh, instructions to be shown as for the convenience of the user. So what we see in the next is the device itself, AV VFD display, which has few buttons on the front side, the small display and a communication COM port, or a Ethernet port, RJ45 port, with four screw mountings for, for mounting it in uh, onto a panel. Very convenient mounting. You can mount onto any uh, panels. It will look like this, and the COM port will be inside the panel. <coughs> so let's get started. So the communication is done with the help of Modbus communication. So this display, this is the Modbus port of a VFD drive. Or uh, also this is ATV three ten. All the review will be shown on ATV three ten. So this is the Modbus port of ATV310 which has a cable RG45 cable which is connected like this to our VFD, VFD display. So that's how you connect it. So the main purpose of this particular AV VFD display is to show the various parameters of the drive. So like you can see power, current, and frequency, voltage, etc., etc. So whatever uh, parameters this drive is throwing, this will this will be showing you out of the panel. If it is uh, so connected or it is mounted on the panel, we will be able to see the values of the drive. So let's get started. <coughs> so there are two modes basically. Uh, there are one is auto mode and other one is a manual mode. But before that, first thing first, how to do a proper communication between these two guys is uh, we need to set up the com uh, Modbus communication in this particular drive, ATV drive. So for that, we will head to configuration, full and 700 series of communication. As per the data sheet, as per the data sheet, the Modbus address should be 1. The Modbus baud rate should be 19.2 kbps and Modbus format should be 810 for proper communication. Yes. As you can see for eight, uh, ATV310, Modbus address 701 should be 1, Modbus baud rate 702 should be 32 and Modbus format should be 044703 series. Let's do it. As you can see. Uh, yeah, sorry. 701 is one already uh, done. 702 should be 32 as I told you. As you can see, 702 is 32 for 19.2 kbps. 70, sorry. 70304 for Modbus format 8 and 1 as you can see. So after setting this up, just exit it out of and we will do a power on off to save it on off is done sorry so power on off is done and our modbus is set our value is when if in case if in case if in case okay sorry so our modbus is set we will go to our auto mode now we will set up this particular ATV display so we will hit the uh, mode button we will say enter, we will say we call it as an enter key, we will, this, the preset RPM will be shown. By default it is set to 1500 in every dis display. This is the um, <coughs> maximum RPM uh, as per the drive. So whatever uh, RPM you have set inside this drive, you have to sh set into this as well in the preset RPM mode, in the preset RPM option. We will say enter, again we will go into the set parameter option. This is a slash n mode that is nothing but auto slash manual mode. We will say auto, we will go enter, we will say auto mode, we say enter. Alright, 
again uh, but there are no values are uh, displayed so again we will do go more this is a one time procedure so need not to do every time just one time select drive again sorry 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 uh, So you have to select the drive in select drive option. This is 310. How to get into this particular curve? We use the shift key. That's how we go. As you can see, there are various drive options. 12, 71, 310. Yeah, we have ours is 310. We'll hit the enter button. Again, it will go to the select drive. The three menus we have. The three menus are show param uh, set parameter, select per drive, and show parameter we have already done select drive we have already done set parameter now it's time for show parameter this option will give you uh, uh, op options as whether you need to show the following parameters or not it, as like frequency frq yes underscore n that is yes underscore no i say i want to see the frequency i say yes i want to see rpm yes i want to see current i say yes Shifting is done using shift key and entering is done using enter key. Let's say F, this is FREF frequency reference, we'll go enter. We say no, let's hit a no button. And the, if the options are over, it will directly go to display mode. We call this as a display mode. One by one, all the parameters will be displayed. Okay, let's start the motor. This is at present this is in analog mode yeah so motor is driving you can change the value of pot change the frequency value by using pot sorry I'm changing the pot now let's see the values are matching or not so frequency at present is 18.1 this power this is frequency yeah, it is matching so that's how our display in auto mode, mode mode works need to check whether all the parameters are correct we will go into 800 series 800 to 803 shows the current this is 80 frequency this is rpm this is current see it is matching so that's how we'll go into these 8 800 series to ver verify our values okay that's how it works in the auto mode also if there is a power on off whether these values are retained or not or these options which we have selected as frequency yes or no is retained or not we will see that now for this for our display it is power on off so we are doing power on off yeah again so to check whether they are matching or not whether values are retained or not yeah they are retained whatever options you have selected they are retained. This particular uh, mode key, enter key, whatever menu selection has done, this has to be done only once. No need to do again and again. If if you are changing the drive, yeah, you have to change. You have to do that uh, whole process again. So okay, this this is how an auto mode works. So next up is manual mode. Manual mode means we will run this particular motor with the help of this uh, ATV display. We will give all the commands through ATV display. And not we will not touch ATV sorry AV right. display we will not touch the ATV drive let's do it for for that we have to remove this particular slot yeah so you will see three hidden buttons which are run forward and stop so how to get into the manual mode okay first of all we'll switch off the motor using this button what we have analog button we'll wait for zero zero yeah it is very zero now let's say go mode again set parameter we will not touch the preset rpm as it is already been stored as 1500 we will do a slash n mode that is auto slash manual mode we have already seen auto mode <coughs> now it's time for manual mode now it will ask for a set rpm now we have selected a preset rpm as 1500 now that is the maximum uh, rpm that is the maximum rp uh, value you will get as frequency let's say if, if 
1500 has been set as RPM, 50, uh, the corresponding frequency value will be 50 Hertz. If you set it as, uh, so we need to set RPM as per our need. If I hit the enter button, if I set this as 1500, preset RPM and set RPM will match and this motor will run at 1500, uh, sorry, 50 Hertz. If I set this as uh, 750, if, uh, motor will drive at uh, 25 Hertz, that is half of it. So when we, so this particular option is, is given for changing the speed of the motor. So I'm at present, I'm at, so how to change the uh, particular values to change from one display to another we use shift key as you can see it see the it is changing let's go to let's make it as 1200 now i am at this particular uh, segment to change the value we will hit the increment key we, we call this as increment key this particular key nine after nine it will go back to zero and this is 1200 so we say enter okay as you can see this is 06 06 means it is that it will it is ready to take all the commands from modbus it is and it has entered into modbus mode so if i press this run key yeah it is moving 40 hertz is what 1200 ka equivalent is equivalent of 1200 is 40 hertz <coughs> see correct it is matching 1200 see rpm what we have set right now is 1200 it is moving in this mode if i if if you have still doubt we will we can change the pot whether to check to see whether it is moving it is uh, changing the speed or not no it is not changing so all the commands are been given by vfd now we have av vfd display now what if i want to change the direction i hit the reverse key yeah see it is reverse in this in reverse mode and our frequency is minus 40 now yeah it is minus 40 <coughs> so that's how it works in the manual mode again let's say we want to change the speed <coughs> sorry we will not touch preset rpm we will not touch auto manual mode we will see set rpm <coughs> this set rpm may the well, option will come only in manual mode let's say i want to go 1000 let's say 1500 sorry let's say 1500 1500 i've entered 1500 now the motor works in 50 hertz as i told you as we preset <coughs> so preset rpm is the boundary and the set rpm is in the the range within the preset rpm you need to play so if you enter 1500 the motor will run at 50 hertz if you enter 750 in the preset rpm it will run at 25 hertz at, at present is running in reverse mode i press it as forward yeah 50 hertz now how to go back to uh, this is how uh, manual mode works how go how to go back to the uh, auto mode Again, I will stop the process right now at zero, 00, yeah, I go mode, I say enter inside parameter, I say auto mode, manual mode, I will hit the auto, yeah, again this has become zero, 00, now let's see uh, button, I will press the button, yeah. See, 21.8, please uh, move the pot. It is taking the, all the commands from pot now. Increase, decrease. Correct. So that's all from EV VFD display event tech. So that's the only uh, purpose of this particular uh, AV VFD display is to show all the parameters outside the panels. Also, we can drive the motor as per our need by setting the preset uh, so preset rpm and set rpm uh, everything will be calculated according to it and that it will work in the manual mode as well as auto mode by default this comes in the auto mode so you need to just go for the first user first time user you need to just select your drive okay it by default it is 1500 rpm and by default it is i guess 312 atv 312 
so that's all from even if we have the display event tech i hope you like the video thank you